Hey, Lehman Lehman Upfit here, and today we've got a 392 coming into the shop. Here it is. It's a 392 Wrangler Rubicon, as all 392s are. It's here. It's going to get a three and a half inch rock crawler lift with some Falcon 3-3 shocks and a steer smart steering brace. So it's on 37s. He drives it now. Wants it to drive a little better, and he would like to uh, get ready to hit the Rubicon in this thing. So let's get it pulled inside and get it torn down, get it jacked up. Here we got our stock 392 suspension. Nothing fancy, but this one does have the aluminum Fox shocks. Where the later ones, they started doing the chintzy painted silver Fox wannabe shocks. So nothing fancy here. We're gonna get them off and get a little more fancy here with our parts cart. Uh, this is Rock Crawler. This is their nicest steel arms they make. They've got the pros after this, which are aluminum, but uh, this is their nice extreme stuff here. I'm gonna sway our end links for the front. It's a pretty massive beefy, beefy pieces. And on this one, we got an Adams front shaft for it. Uh, rear end links. Falcon 3.3 adjustables. These are the diesel 392 versions, so they got a shorter cartridge there for your 392 or for your diesel or 4xe actually um, so then we got our three and a half inch 392 springs falcon steering stabilizer and a steer smarts sector shaft track bar brace so we'll get this one here torn apart won't be that exciting but i'll get some parts off of this one and start getting some new ones put on shocks are out of it springs are out of it dry shafts out of it they're all sitting here front and rear Track bars are out of it. I've got a uh, pull the control arms. All the bolts are out there, ready to go. Right now we are setting our control arms to length. So our end links for the front with these uh, bad boys there. All those grease fittings are in, and we just gotta get these set to length. Track bars to a rough length. Then we'll start getting them in. And I'll, uh, I'll show you a few things along the way. First thing here, I'll show you, cause I hate it when they do this. This one bolt here on a 392, the exhaust is right there. I always loosen it up right here. Then you can actually move it enough that you don't have to pull these top ones. These top ones have these special little clips up here. They like to break just about every time. So that'll give you enough room to get that bolt out of there. So that'll be that one. Let's get all of these out of here. And I will start putting in the new stuff. So in the rear here, we've got all of our no limit arms in here. These are the no limit X factor earlier. I said adventure. I don't know why most of these are adventures, but this is the no limit X Right Seth? Yep. <laughs> so the rear arms are in And sway bar end links are in springs are in Track bar got a set adjustment on that. We'll get it in over here in the front. We got the arms in We uh, lower one something's tweaked a little bit springs are going in Got our isolators top and bottom here ready to go. Rears are in. So we are going to get track bar in next and a spring. Boom shakalaka. Springs in. Whoop, 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 whoop. Little Seth Lee trick right there to get them isolators in. He likes to use a pair of ice grips on them nipples. Hold that isolator up in there so you don't have to two-hand it. So now we are knocking out some track bars and some steering. All right, so we got this thing all the way back together and it's headed to the alignment rack so we put some tires on it. But I'll give you a quick look-see here. Got the uh, Steer Smarts track bar sector shaft brace on here. These massive soy bar end links. Got our bump stops in. 
Falcon 3-3 is what the factory inner fender for now. Uh, Adam's drive shaft. Boom. With its new flange, it's all in there and set. Uh, track bar, Falcon, steering stabilizer, pass-through. That's all done. Headed to the rear. All four. Rock crawler, no limit. X. Control arms, springs. We got the bump stops in. Falcon 3-3s, adjustable. Sub bar in links in the rear. Track bars in. So other than that, putting tires and wheels on and then I set up the alignment rack we'll get a shot of Seth Lee here muscling that 37 inch Mickey Thompson up oh, better him than me boom shakalaka that'd be a pretty good song better him than me better him than me all right the moment of truth come on down Seth we got to see what this thing looks like on its own weight oh nice it's pretty good. We'll get it settled in here. We'll figure out how level it sits on each corner and adjust if necessary. But looks like a Cruise M37 is pretty nice. It'll look a lot better outside. But beautiful. There it is. Now, for real. It's time to get it on the alignment rack, get it squared up. Can you hear me now? Seth's gonna go through, get all these control arms snugged under its own weight, and then I'm gonna align it, probably in the morning, cause it's getting close to my dinner time. So tomorrow it'll get aligned, and tomorrow I gotta look at this one too, but that's a whole other problem. Check out this one. We got a TJ with an LS. And the engine's in there too low, some of the problem. It's got driveline vibrations like mad. We're gonna probably end up doing a slip yoke eliminator kit on the back, give us a little bit more drive shaft, but I also need to raise that engine up. It is almost sitting on, the exhaust manifold on the passenger side sits on the frame. On the driver's side, it's up about a half inch. Um, the mounts, the bushings are shot out of them, so the engine drops down and just makes the pinion angle even worse. Whole nother story. But Seth will get this one and tomorrow morning I will align it and we'll take it for a test drive. So we just finished squaring everything up here on the alignment rack for this 392. Everything in the back is all uh, torqued, paint marked, ready to go. Seth's going through, locking everything on the front. Just got it aligned, everything on it's all squared up and good. So. We're gonna finish marking some stuff and then I'm gonna take it out for a drive. I put a few miles on every single Jeep that gets lifted. Uh, put a few miles on it. I'm gonna pull it out in the parking lot. You can take a look at it. So I'm gonna hit the road. All right, so this 392 is done. I just drove it, drives awesome. Quick recap here. This is uh, three and a half inches of rock crawler. There are no limit X factor lift, which gives you all eight arms, track bars, soy bar end links, all the goodies. We also did some Falcon 3 3s on here. And Steer Smarts. Track bar sector shaft brace. So if you don't know what that is, also gives you a brace right here in the bottom here in your sector shaft. So that's good. Bump stops. Oh, that's ready to go. So we got this thing uh, dialed in. Rear, same thing. 3 3s. All your arms. Everything's marked like we do here. Torqued looking good so it definitely looks a lot better on 37s with three and a half inches lift so that's it so thanks for watching got a couple other builds we're going to do some videos on so that was it like subscribe and let you know what do you think about this one have a good one